Dear friends, welcome to my video lecture on Marxism, one of the subheadings in Unit 1 of Net Education. Most welcome, dear friends. Thank you for supporting me by viewing my videos. I'm sure you would have been uh, profiting much from my videos. I hope so. Let us uh, enter into the topic straight away. I am Dr. I. Jesus, as you know. Just go through my, uh, you know, box, you know, in the YouTube to know about myself. What is uh, Marxism? Marxism, founded by Karl Marx and Frederick Engels in the 19th century, is a socio-political and economic theory that criticizes or critiques capitalism and advocates for a classless society. Marxism emphasizes critical thinking and encourages questioning the status quo. Status quo means things as they are not at the moment, what is existing at the moment. This approach promotes critical pedagogy, where education is seen as a tool for social change rather than mere knowledge transmission. Educators say, inspired by Marxist theory, aim to develop students' ability to critically analyze societal structures, helping them understand how information is shaped by power dynamics. What is the social context of knowledge according to uh, Marxism? Marxist theory holds that knowledge is influenced by socio-economic conditions. It argues that what is considered knowledge often reflects the interest of the ruling class. This perspective urges educators to consider students' background and experiences, fostering an inclusive curriculum that recognizes the diverse sources of <coughs> knowledge. Education as a tool for liberation. For Marxism, education becomes the tool for liberation. Education in the Marxist framework should empower individuals to understand their social realities and challenge oppressive systems, unjust systems. This leads to educational practices that prioritize or give importance to critical awareness, helping students gain the knowledge and wisdom needed to engage in social justice and activism. activism. The <coughs> collective learning and collaboration is the hallmark of Marxism in school or college education. Marxism values collective action and solidarity among individuals. In education, this translates to collaborative learning environments. Emphasizing group work and community engagement, educators can cultivate wisdom through shared experiences and diverse viewpoints. How the traditional system, education systems are criticized by Marxism, the critique of traditional education system. Marxist theorists uh, critique traditional education systems for perpetuating social inequalities and serving capitalist interests. This critique motivates uh, reforms aimed at creating equitable educational opportunities, challenging elitist structures, and promoting lifelong learning that is accessible to all. Knowledge protection and ownership. What does it uh, view? Uh, what does Marxism view uh, with regard to knowledge, protection and ownership? Marxism highlights the importance of understanding who produces knowledge and who benefits from it. It challenges the commodification or trade of education and knowledge. This perspective encourages educators to foster critical discussions about the ownership of knowledge advocating for open access and collaborative knowledge creation. Then integration of theory and practice. Marxism stresses the importance of praxis, combining theory with practical action. That is called a praxis. Combining theory with the practical action. In education, this means applying knowledge to real world situations. Educators can empower students to translate the theoretical knowledge into practice, fostering wisdom through experiential learning, uh, learning and uh, civic engagement. 
how to conclude you know what, what would be the concluding remarks you know uh, about marxism marxism's uh, contributions to education emphasize the importance of critical engagement with the information the socio political context of knowledge and the role of education in promoting social justice by integrating these principles educators can help students develop the knowledge and wisdom needed to navigate and challenge the complexities of their social realities or difficulties of their social realities let us analyze some of the questions related to marxism what is the foundational concept of marxism democracy capitalism class struggle socialism of course what is the foundational concept of marxism that is class struggle marxism emphasizes the conflict between different social classes particularly the struggle between the bourgeois that is capitalist class and the proletariat working class the capitalist class is called bourgeois of course the spelling is like that but then we used to pronounce like this bourgeois and the proletariat working class what is critical pedagogy encourage students to do accept information as it is question the status quo memorize facts focus on standardized testing what is critical pedagogy encourage students to do question the status quo critical pedagogy promotes a critical thinking and encourage students to challenge existing power structures that is called questioning the status quo that is the challenging the existing power structures according to marxist theory knowledge is influenced by what individual beliefs socio economic conditions technological advancements educational institutions so knowledge is influenced by what in marxist theory that is socio economic conditions marxism holds that knowledge reflects the interest and experiences shaped by socio economic factors how does marxism view education in terms of social change as a tool for maintaining order as a means of social reproduction as a tool for liberation as a source of income so marxism views education in terms of social change how it is a tool for liberation education becomes the tool for liberation marxism advocates for education to empower individuals to understand and challenge oppressive societal structures what type of learning environment does marxism promote what type of learning environment does marxism promote individualistic learning competitive learning collaborative learning lecture based learning so what type of learning environment it does marxism promotes marxism promotes collaborative learning marxism values collective action and promotes group work and community engagement in education what is marxism critique about the traditional education systems their emphasis on creativity their focus on individual achievement their role in perpetuating social inequalities their role of technology So how does a Marxism critic about traditional education systems their role in perpetuating social inequalities Marxism criticizes you know the education system uh, and its role in perpetuating social inequalities Marxist theory is argue that traditional education often maintains existing social hierarchies and serves capitalist interests not the common people What is the concept of knowledge production in Marxism emphasize individual learning experiences the importance of knowledge ownership the memorization of facts the role of technology in learning what is the concept of knowledge production in Marxism emphasize the importance of knowledge ownership Marxism stresses understanding who produces knowledge and who benefits from it challenging the commodification of education or trade of education <coughs> what is praxis in the context of marxist education what is praxis in the context of marxist education theory without practice practical action without theory 
combining theory with practical action a focus on the rote memorization so what is practice in the context of marxist education combining theory with the practical action practice involves applying theoretical knowledge to real world situations which is crucial in marxist education what is <coughs> one goal of educators inspired by marxism <coughs> to create standardized test to develop critical awareness in students to enforce strict discipline to promote rote learning so what is the one goal of educators inspired by marxism that is uh, to develop critical awareness in students the educators aim to cultivate students ability to critically analyze societal structures and understand their context what is marxism encouraging regarding diverse uh, sources of knowledge a diverse sources of knowledge ignoring them recognizing and including them in education eliminating them standardizing them so what does marxism encourage regarding diverse sources of knowledge they recognize and include them in education diverse sources of uh, uh, knowledge marxism recognizes and includes them in education Marxist theory promotes an inclusive curriculum that acknowledges the diverse backgrounds and experiences of students. <coughs> Which of the following is a key principle of Marxist education? Competition among students, memorization of information, social justice and activism, individualism. Of course, what is the key principle of Marxist education? Of course, they are about the society. You know, they are always. thinking about the society society welfare justice in the society etc so uh, what is the key principle of marxist education that is social justice and activism marxism emphasizes education as a means to empower students to engage in social justice efforts and activism how does marxism view the relationship between knowledge and power knowledge is always objective knowledge is independent of power knowledge is shaped by power dynamics power is irrelevant in education so how does marxism view the relationship between knowledge and power knowledge is shaped by power dynamics that is what marxism holds marxism asserts that knowledge often reflects the interests and perspectives of those in power in marxist education what is the role of teachers <clears throat> to impart knowledge uncritically to enforce conformity to facilitate critical thinking and dialogue to evaluate student performance in marxist education what is the role of teachers to facilitate critical thinking and dialogue teachers are seen as facilitators who encourage critical discussions and empower students to think independently what aspect of knowledge does marxism challenge the existence of knowledge the sources of knowledge the validity of knowledge the pursuit of knowledge what aspect of knowledge <coughs> what aspect of knowledge does marxism challenge the sources of knowledge marxism challenges whose knowledge is valued and who benefits from its production of course you know uh, uh, what is it challenge marxism challenges whose knowledge is valued and who benefits from its protection you know the you know they criticize uh, they criticize uh, uh, what you call capitalism because the knowledge is pro produced from them so it is not helpful for the uh, working class you know? that is what they hold that's why they challenges whose knowledge is valued and who benefits uh, from its protection which educational practice is influenced by marxist thought which educational practice is influenced by marxist thought the emphasis on individual success standardized testing experiential learning teacher centered instruction so experiential learning you know this educational practice uh, is influenced by marxist thought marxism promotes experiential learning that connects theory with the real world experiences fostering wisdom you know uh, uh, this concept is called uh, praxis connecting theory with the uh, practice 
so experiential learning what is the primary focus of marxist education regarding student backgrounds ignoring their experiences standardizing their education understanding and valuing their experiences enforcing uniformity what is the primary focus of marxist education regarding student backgrounds understanding and valuing their experiences educators inspired by marxism aim to consider and integrate students of diverse backgrounds into the learning process <clears throat> what is marxism propose for creating equitable educational opportunities what is marxism propose for creating equitable educational opportunities maintaining traditional systems enforcing strict regulations challenging elitist structures focusing on individual achievement so what does marxism propose for creating equitable educational opportunities challenging elitist structures or capitalistic structures marxism advocates for reforms that dismantle that break barriers to education and promote equality so once again i repeat marxism advocates for reforms that break barriers to education and promote equality what is the goal of incorporating critical discussions in education according to marxism to confuse students to reinforce existing beliefs to empower students to analyze societal issues to avoid difficult topics what is the goal of incorporating critical discussions in education according to marxism to empower students to analyze societal issues critical discussions enable students to engage with and understand complex social realities so to empower student to analyze societal issues that is the goal of incorporating critical discussions in education according to marxism just empowering the students with regard to analysis of the societal problems in marxist thought how is knowledge viewed in relation to capitalism as completely independent knowledge is completely independent as serving capitalist interest as irrelevant as universally beneficial you know how is knowledge viewed in relation to capitalism according to marxism education or knowledge is serving capitalist interest that is what they hold marxism critiques how knowledge production often aligns or corresponds with the needs of capitalism and the ruling class what the educational approach encourages students to engage with their communities isolated learning community engagement standardized learning textbook based learning what educational approach encourages students to engage with their communities according to marxism that is community enga- engagement marxist education promotes a community engagement as a means for students to apply the learning in real world context what kind of knowledge does marxism advocate for in educational settings what kind of knowledge does marxism advocate for in educational settings knowledge that supports the status quo knowledge that promotes social justice knowledge focused solely on exams knowledge isolated from societal issues what kind of knowledge does marxism advocate for in educational settings knowledge that promotes the social justice marxism emphasizes the importance of knowledge that empowers students to pursue social justice and equality how does marxism suggest to educators address issues of uh, knowledge ownership how does marxism suggest to teachers address issues of knowledge ownership by ignoring them by promoting access to information by standardizing knowledge production by valuing only traditional knowledge <coughs> this is what you know they suggest the educators to do that is to promote access to information marxism advocates for open access to knowledge and challenging monopolies over information which concept is essential for understanding the role of education in a marxist framework competition conformity empowerment individualism which concept is essential for understanding the role of education in a marxist framework that is empowerment 
Marx is a emphasizes education as a means to empower individuals to critically engage with and change their social conditions. So Marxism emphasizes education as a means to empower individuals to critically engage with and change their social conditions. What is the potential outcome of applying Marxist principles in education? What is the potential possible outcome of applying Marxist principles in education? Increased social inequality, greater student apathy, enhanced critical consciousness, standardized educational outcomes. What is the possible outcome of applying Marxist principles in education? That is enhanced critical consciousness. Applying Marxist principles can lead to students developing a deeper understanding of societal issues and their roles in enacting change, in bringing out, in bringing up, in bringing change. In other words, applying Marxist principles can lead to students developing a deeper understanding of societal issues and their roles in the societal change. In other words, thank you very much, dear friends. God bless you abundantly. I hope you are just uh, listening to my videos. Please do so. I am very happy about it. Please suggest to me, you know, what type of material you need. Is this material adequate for you or uh, what I should do? Uh, do you need any PDF file as such? All these things, if you tell me, it would be of great help to me to cater to your needs. Thank you very much. God bless you abundantly, dear friends.